So please be aware guys that this is a really early build of the game and what you will witness may not reflect the full game on release. So guys I am back with another First Descendant video and today guys I'm going to take you on a tour of the social space, the first social space you will come to when playing this game. How's it going guys? My name's DPG and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so the social space within the first descendant is a real pretty area without a shadow of a doubt, even on my low spec PC in its beta version, it's still a nice place to be. Okay, so when you first spawn into this, this is where you'll land. Now we're going to take a tour around here, what you need to know, what you don't want to miss, this that, and the other. Okay, so on your right hand side guys, we have the mailbox or the postmaster or the stash or your bank or whatever guys. In here, if you leave loot on a planet, you forget to pick it up, this and the other guys, it, become, it comes here. Nice. You also get mail, this is being sent to me, these are obviously placeholders. Uh, I'm not sure how these will work in the full game, but you can see here guys, I get sent emails, this, that and the other. And we also have a communication box tab. Which my mailbox is empty because I am a loner. On your right hand, uh, left hand side, sorry, this is uh, the Albion Terminal. I should have said this. This actual whole area, this uh, tower, this 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 social space is called the Albion. Uh, here, this is the Albion Terminal. Now, when you unlock a new uh, area on the planet, you actually have to. Uh, go to it here first so you need to come to this uh, terminal first so say i unlock the red uh, desert i need to come here i need to come to the red desert and then to fly in there then guys it unlocks on your map so you can just fast travel here whenever you want simple as that that's what that's for okay so as you run forward we have the quest terminal so you have quest quest you've lost quest you want to look for this is where they come they are here You'll see that when you start the game anyway, there'll be a few in there. On your left hand side here, we have the world mission terminal. So you want to go on a team and do the world missions. I mean, yes, you can go to each and one of these areas, which I just showed you, did I? I can't remember. Let's go again. So I'll say I click on the uh, Albania uh, mountains. You can just fast travel here and you can run around doing all these missions. You just repeat them, uh, get all the XP over and over, the rewards, the weapons, you name it guys yep yes you can but there's also missions main missions world missions so if i click on this as you can see and you can do i think that says rewards i'm not certain but i'm guessing that's what it is you can just long press to execute load that up and there you go you'll see gameplay of these on my channel either way guys if you're interested in what these are okay so yes now we're gonna go to the mastery rank terminal so as you're playing and you're leveling up, you'll see, you, you can see top right there, my level is a 40, does it say it here? It probably does, oh there we go, right there. I'm a level 40, that's a max ramp, because this is actually a boosted account that Nexen gave us to use. Uh, so I'm a level 40, I'm not sure if that will be max uh, when a game officially arrives, but either way. So you'll level up this by getting XP, but you also get a mastery rank too. Your mastery rank, once you get enough XP, you'll come to this terminal here, this machine the ageless reach and you click on your mastery rank up and you'll see here the xp needed i need that much to get a level eight and then you'll get uh, this here uh, equipment uh, inventory plus two descendant rune slot plus one uh, rune capacity plus one and weapon rune capacity plus one and i've made a video explaining exactly what the runes do they're a major part of your your character we also have descendant reset which I'm pretty sure this resets your descendant. Why would you want to do that? I'm not sure, but hey, it's there and it's an option. It is an option. Okay, so down here we have nothing but prettiness at the moment. Yeah, um, absolute no doubt some of these NPCs you will be able to interact with in the full game. It probably takes you to different spots as well, but like I said, I don't know if you can talk to this dude. You didn't see him here last time. No, you can't. I can't even get close to him. But down here, just nothing either, but I'm pretty sure they will be. You can just jump off and die, I'll show you. Whoop! Just fall straight through the map. 
Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> there we go. No, I had a map glitches here. Okay, so we're going to go down now to our right. Well, it's to our left now, but if you're running from where you spawn into this place, it's to your right. So down here, we have a couple of vendors. So this dude's um, part of the main, well, this uh, dude and girl are part of the main uh, story. Uh, this guy here, Alpha, is a part of the main. So you will be coming and speaking to him a lot. And then you'll go and speak to this uh, bird here too. Now. Like, you know, back and forth. You know how it goes with these, these looters, shooters, guys. Back and forth, back and forth. Yep. Then you can come down this way. And we also have a weapon vendor here. So let's just go here. And you can buy weapons from him. So you can purchase gear from him if you want to, if you need to. Some pretty cool stuff. I'm pretty sure this rolls as well. It resets. So sort of low for what I need, but either way. We can also sell gear too. So you can highlight stuff. I can select that as junk. Select junk. Highlight them all if I want to. And then put, uh, sell them all at the same time. I don't want to sell anything though because these are all maxed out weapons. And they're looking pretty cool. Well, you'll see a video as well on these. Uh, either on my channel. Or it will be coming. So yes. It's a weapon a vendor. Pretty cool. Okay, so here guys we have... A dude where you can mess around with your runes. So if you want to level up your runes, if you want to enhance them, if you want to combine them, uh, do all kinds of things, guys. This is the dude you come to, Cillian. Simple as that. I've got a uh, video as well on my channel explaining exactly what runes do, what they are, how you get them, how you combine them, this and the other. So yeah. And then, guys, we have this lady here as well, which again... Can't, you know what? I'm not going to lie. Research Institute. I'm not sure exactly what these are, what they do. I'm guessing they could be like missions you can pick up for, say, some of your gold. They're unavailable to me, but hey, see, they're actually in game currency, by the way. If you didn't know, uh, a bit of uh, stuff there to put as well, too. Like, I say, like it says, enhance your runes. But yeah, we have. I'm guessing that these could be like little mini things you do for. So you buy this, you got to do, oh, she could just be a vendor. I can't see because I can't click on them. It just doesn't let me do it. It says unavailable. But yeah, I don't know whether you have to do a mission or like a bounty to pick them up. Or you can just buy them off her. I'm guessing you can just buy them off her once you do accumulate a lot of gold. But yeah, some pretty decent things here as well if you know exactly what you're looking for. And there we have it guys, really. That is your tour of the Albion. This place is first social space you will come to within the this uh, the first descent. I'm gonna say the descent and what a movie that is, but yeah, the first descent. And there we have it, guys. If you guys want to see more of the first descent and many other videos showcasing to you what you probably want to know about this game, this brand new looter shooter, you'll find many more videos on my channel. But there we have it guys. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like it really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.